Hello, um, this is Enrique from the ID team and I'm recording a quick video to show you how you can get started uh, contributing to GitLab UI using the awesome remote development feature. Uh, so we recently set up remote development for GitLab UI and it is super easy uh, to start uh, making changes in the project without having to set it up locally. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to first uh, create a workspace. Um, to create a workspace for GitLab UI, you can go to the Edit dropdown and you will see here a new workspace button. So I'm going to click here and this is going to redirect me to the uh, Create Workspace screen uh, where the GitLab UI project is pre-selected and you can choose a Kubernetes cluster, where, where to create the workspace. Uh, we should select the Tanuki workspace, uh, Kubernetes cluster. Uh, this is uh, the one that we are making available uh, for GitLab team members uh, to start docporting remote development. So I'm gonna create a workspace. And once a workspace is created and running, uh, we are going to be able to open VS Code and start contributing to the project right away. This is going to take uh, probably less than a minute. It's super quick, super quickly. Um, so let's wait, a, let's wait a moment. So now the workspace is running. Um, if we click the URL that appears here in the preview column, we are gonna open an uh, instance of uh, VS Code for the web that is pointing to the uh, workspace and remote development environment that we just created. I'm gonna say that I trust the authors here and as you can see, we, we have the, the working file uh, file tree uh, of the GitLab UI project. So the first thing that we have to do is follow the contribution guidelines uh, to get started on, on GitLab UI. So let's go to the project and open the written file. Let's go to the quick start development. And there are a couple of steps here that we can skip and we can just install the dependencies using yarn and then start the history book. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a terminal in VS Code. And now I'm gonna run yarn uh, to install the, the project uh, the project's dependencies. This is also going to take um, a couple of seconds. Um, after that, uh, we are gonna start history book.
now besides installing the uh, the dependencies, this is also compiling the um, the SAS files. Um, so I'm going to run yarn three book. And let's wait until until the history book instance is um, is running. So now you see that history book is finally running and it's running the port uh, 9001. Uh, so to open the history book, history book instance, I'm gonna copy this URL. I'm gonna paste it here. I'm gonna change the, the port in the start of the workspace URL. Once I change that number, you can see an, an explore um, GitLab CY history book. And after that, you can start uh, making changes um, and submitting your contributions to GitLab UI. I hope this is useful.